Hello everyone, Tammy here. Welcome to my channel. Today I am doing the um, Inspired Art Weekly Challenge that is hosted by Shannon at Mixed Media Minnesota. And today I'm doing um, a quick project that I saw on a new to me channel. Um, her name is Scribe Vibe. That's the name of her channel. And um, she did these really cool um, envelope pockets that just slip over a page. Uh, I thought they were amazing. So <laughs> I'm going to do that. So I'm going to use one um, envelope like this and another just plain envelope. So let's just get started. And in the way that makes me the most comfortable, I am, um, I, pre I pre planned. <laughs> so uh, that just helps me feel more relaxed, um, which I think is important when I am recording. So let's cut this down. So I hope you're all having a great day. Um, I've been kind of, um, let's, there it is. I've been trying to get caught up on people's videos, um, but I've also been kind of searching for some new, new ideas. Um, I think that's one of my personal challenges is, you know, making journals that are fresh and fun for me. Um, just because, you know, I make so many of them and uh, I like to do new and fresh ideas and, you know, unique ideas. And this one is definitely very cool. Something I've never seen before. And I, I just happened to see her, um, comment on someone's video. I don't know if it was, it was, she commented on someone's video who I watch regularly and lots of times I just go through those comments and just click and see, see what those artists are creating. And, um, you know, sometimes I find artists that I like and, you know, sometimes not, but it's all, it's all good. So, um, so that's how I found, can't remember what her name is, but her channel is called Scribe, Scribe Vibe. And I will, um, put a link to that. That was this one. So, um, mine's going to be a little bit different than her, so I would definitely go and watch her video. Um, I really liked it. I She didn't use a window envelope like I am. Um, but I think at least one of the journal cards that goes in here, you know, you'll be able to see through the window. And I like that. I think that's really cool. So I'm just going to go ahead and get started. Um, so yeah, I'm just thinking here. So she did hers had a bigger, um, hers had a bigger like this. And so she had a tuck here and a tuck here. So I think I, I think I will try that with this. Maybe, maybe I'll just do a tuck up here. Um, Yeah, not sure. I I I did pre-plan, but I didn't like practice by making one. So, and I don't normally do that. Um, I know a lot of people do. Um, so, just thinking. Now I've already put glue on there, so I'm kind of already committed. So I could make the tuck would just be. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. So the tuck would just be up here. Yeah, okay, that's cool. I can do that. So glue would go about to right here. And then all the way down the edge. So in the top. There's my pencil mark. Now I can't see it. Is that it? OK. 
Okay. And you'll kind of see how this is going to go. The window actually might not even work. Um, you'll and you'll see why in a minute. Um, although I could just well, I'm I'm going to do them the way close to the way that she did it. Okay, so I got that on there, and then I'm going to cover this. Um, so I want to tear. Let's see. I'm just thinking out loud. So let's just. So this line. No. No, 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 no. This. This line. So my husband's outside working in the yard and whatever tool he's using, it's a power tool. I think it's a, um, a bush trimmer, like a hedge trimmer. And it <laughs> sounds really awful, but it sounds like my mom because <laughs> she, she talks under her breath and kind of moans and groans. And it, it, I keep thinking that I hear her, but it's not her. So. So that's good. Okay, so that, that will go there. And then I have this little piece. I think will fit. Um, yeah, so that's kind of... She's... Um, her mobility is getting really, really, really bad. And... Um, It'll go this way. Get the music going the right way. Um, and we have a lot of stairs in our house. And she lives um, in the main, well, not main floor, but bottom floor. It's all full. Um, it's all full daylight. So, you know, they have doors down there. And so it's not like a closed in basement at all. It's very nice. And, and so she, um, but she comes up the stairs and to get to the main floor, it's like two, two sets of stairs. And then we have a middle floor that's one set and then a top floor that you go up another set. So, um, and I mostly work on the top floor. Um, Although since I'm getting close to retiring, I've kind of been setting up down on the main floor. Um, but my art room's up on the top, top floor. But she was, and she, her, her mobility is really bad. She, she has a bad back. She has some nerve damage in her leg. And um, she goes up and down these stairs and it's really dangerous. And she'll do it in the middle of the night and she'll... Um, it's just, yeah, it's just not, not good. So, um, we put a baby gate up so, so she can get to the top of her stairs from her apartment and they have a totally, you know, like separate door. Um, it doesn't have a lock or anything. So, um, so we can't do that, but she, she can come up and we can hear her and she'll, you know, she'll, you, she usually calls out like, hey, is anyone home? And, um, <clears throat> you know, and then I can go and talk to her and, and that works out really well because it's only one flight of stairs. Um, I can still hear her and go talk to her unless it's the middle of the night, which, <clears throat> you know, I don't want her up at all in the middle of the night. Um, but she wakes up and, you know, she just has a dream and gets an idea in her head and um you know she comes up and wants to talk about it so she was you know literally scaring us 
by coming in and, you know, <clears throat> tapping on a, you know, it's just, she needs to be safe for first and foremost. And so ensuring that she doesn't go up and down the stairs needlessly, I think is really important. So, um, so there's that. <laughs> Uh, kind of crazy so so these digitals so these are from I saved her little thing um, junk journal craft Alina and I won a kit from her um, Etsy store um, from um, Tiffany at Bluebe Bluebird Lane creations um, and so she uh, this was one of the gifts so yeah so that's what I'm doing here so I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna put this here so but this okay so that's this sorry <laughs> got sidetracked and then this is from um Chevy Debbie Duda her um website she has some freebies on there and um I I downloaded and printed printed these off um they look really good with this paper and and what I'm doing here so I decided to to use that so put that there and then um, the idea is we put a little uh, decoration on it so that's what this is here for so I think I'm just gonna I'm just going to do a little bit of glue stick just so they stick. I'm going to put a brad through it. But I want them I don't want them to get off center or anything when I'm trying to put the brad in. So these little white flowers I actually um Got them off Amazon. They're just plain white, and I sprayed some inks on them, and uh, they turned out really cute. Okay, so so this I think I want this to go kind of like that. Okay, so get my all. Poke through and then decide what color I want. So there's, I think that's too bright. I think I'm just going to use a, a gold. Or I could do, I'm just going to do gold. through with my all a little bit better. Okay. So these are not the mini brads, so they're kind of, um, they're wide little prongs okay and so so then they also go through yes okay so then I need to decide how I want this oh, I like it just like this um, so then this also goes through the, the pocket and I think that's okay if that covers that a little bit so let's about right here okay so then that goes here guess I can turn it as I want yeah that's cool okay so then that gets pushed down okay Okay, so then I'm going to do a little bit on the other side because both sides will be showing. 
So I thought, so this is more, these are from the, um, from Tina at Chevy Debbie Doodah. So I'm going to use, I like this one matches really good, but I'm just going to tear it. this up. Okay, and then maybe a little label. Let's see. Don't love that one. Ooh, I like that. Okay. So I, I think I finished talking about my mom. <laughs> uh, the joys of crafting on YouTube. Um, and just totally forgetting what you were talking about. Okay, so it doesn't really matter where this goes. Just like how it looks up here on the on the turquoise. Yeah, so I have to keep my ear out for um, um, which is fine if I'm you know down on the main floor, but that doesn't always work. Okay, so this is this is it. So it's really nice because there's journaling space. Obviously, you can do all of that. So this goes on the page. So this is in your journal. This is the page you're going to have in your journal. Um, okay, so this will go on the page like this. Just like that. 
Doesn't that look awesome? So that goes on there like that. And then you can take <clears throat> a journal card you can go in here and then you can see it there. And I'll, you know, whatever I put in here, I'll do a pull. Um, I could make something bigger, you know, I haven't decided what that's going to look like. You could even go like this. There's lots of, of lots of options. So that's that side. And then you turn the page and then you have another pocket on this side. So I love it. I think it's really cool how that that idea. I just love it. So uh, I'm going to make another one so pretty okay so this one is a smaller envelope so i um pre like i tore tore down a page to use um so that'll go like that so basically you would put like on this i can really do it um that business envelope was a little bit different but you put your your little flower thing cluster right on there um, and then you can tuck stuff in here and in here so I didn't look to see how this tuck spot works so let's yeah let's just see yeah nice that's cute love it okay so that's that's how that one works so this one will be I'm not I'm doing a little bit of decorating on this side um, but let's put this together first. Okay, so, so we have this. Um, so this is just an old flower I had. This came off. I figure if I put this kind of off center a little bit. These are the flowers from um, the kit that I won from Tiffany at Bluebeard Lane creations so this and then there's this and then some lace that's kind of pretty okay so let's uh let's use i wish i had brown hmm let me have these is that brown or black i could do one of these that's kind of pretty. Yeah. I think these are long enough. Guess we'll find out, won't we? Okay. go through this do it about right here and you don't want to go through the back it's just into the the inside of the uh, envelope and then this will go right in here fun so pretty um, and you could use anything you wouldn't have to, you know, use flowers. You could use any, any kind of, if you had pre-made clusters, you could use those, which I have a few, but I thought it'd be fun too, to kind of do the whole thing. So there you go. There's that front. Okay. And then this side, I'm going to put a little bit of glue right in here. Yikes, that's way, way too much glue. Okay. Okay. So I'm gonna do really similar to the other the other one. I'm going to tear this down.
So I'm just going to put a little bit of this kind of under there. Like that. And then this pink butterfly like that. Yeah. Okay. Let's get the So I forgot to say in the beginning that these um, envelopes, uh, these were something I did on a Mixed Media Monday, you know, I don't know if it was quite a month ago, but it was a little bit ago, so if you missed it and you want to see how I, how I made these, you can go check out that video. I'm, I love how the, these turned out, these envelopes. I did envelopes and bags, um, so trying to trying to use them. Okay, so then this will go on like no oh, paths go this way. Okay, so then this would go in here, nice little, and then this side would have a little tuck here, so you can put things in, and then a little tuck here, cute, yeah I love how that looks, super fun. So there you go. Those are my um, envelope pockets inspired by um, Scribe Vibes, and I'll put her the link to her video in the description, and um, also to Shannon at Mixed Media Minnesota, so you can see how she does her um, art inspired weekly and. I hope you all have a great day. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and uh, I'd love to hear from you. Comments are always welcomed and uh, I'll be talking to you soon. Bye.